We're in a small town called Cerro Azul, which means the Blue Hill, or the Blue Small Mountain. If you've never heard of it, whoop, neither had I until half an hour ago when our friend and guide, Manuel, asked if we wanted to see this. Supposedly, there is an Inca wall of fine construction here, uh, polygonal stones. So we're gonna go see what we can find. You see evidence of ancient terracing going back hundreds and thousands of years and you see the adobe constructions. Okay, the culture attributed to these works were pre-Inca, called the Huarco, and they were conquered by the Inca. Of course, you can see there isn't a lot of evidence left after centuries of destruction post-arrival uh, of the Spanish. Now we're going to see, supposedly, remnants of maybe a megalithic wall. So this stone here is not very good for construction in terms of trying to make something out of stones with a tight fit because you can see that it naturally fractures very easily. Tours taking you where no one else will. Okay, we can tell that this is an Inca construction, but the stone doesn't seem to be the same as the bedrock. See the gaps in the stone, so that's more of an Inca technique. If it was quote unquote megalithic lost ancient high technology, the stone would fit perfectly together. So, risking life and limb for a glimpse at something we've never seen is actually what we do on a regular basis. So, as Derek Olson said, this is a classic example of hidden Inca tours. So here in the local museum are some of the stones 
from the Inca wall. And if Susan Moore is watching this, maybe she can identify it for us. It does, it's not granite. It looks more like a volcanic tuff or a diorite, well, volcanic tuff kind of material. The so, or the so-called diorite that one finds at uh, Pumapunku in Bolivia. This is what you were showing uh, Davis. So the mystery is, where did that stone come from? Because it doesn't look like the other stone I've seen in this area. That's why it's, there's always more and more and more to ancient Peru to continue to discover.